Okay, so what we're going to learn about in this section is the inverse square law. Now, it's a mathematical calculation of how light falls off as it comes from the studio light. And it's really important to understand, the most important thing about understanding light is the inverse square law. So I'm going to go over now, it's quite technical. Basically, let, let's say I'm one foot away from the light. So that light is at full power, it's one to one power. So, and, and the way that's worked out mathematically, I need to look at my chart here, so at one foot, if you square one foot by the light, it's 100% at one foot. At a quarter, so if we go back two foot, so if I move back another foot, at two foot, that light is falling off my face and it's now, instead of 100%, it's straight away gone to 25%. 25% from there to there, 25% fall off. This is what the inverse law is. So you can work it out mathematically, but I'll put a chart up on here so you can, you can see um, how you get the fall off. But every time I move back, if I go back another foot, let me have a look what I'm at now. Just use my measure. So I'm now at three foot. At three foot squared, I'm getting 11% of the total power of the light that's hitting my face. And if I go back eight feet, so I'm not going to go back eight feet because I'll go through the wall, but if I went back eight feet, I'm then getting 2% of the light coming from the light source. It's technical, it's mathematics, but really, you can forget all that. It doesn't really matter about the mathematics. What matters is understanding that the closer you are to the light, the different effect you'll get. And we'll have a look at that because what I'm going to do is to take some shots of myself, unfortunately, at different distances. And we'll see how the light falls off and how that affects the photograph. So the distance of the light can make a big difference to your subject and if you think about the fall off that you're getting at 8 feet is 2% light then what you're going to get at, at that distance you're going to get a very flat light very flat looking it's going to fill in all the all the, the subject and it's going to fill in all your background and it's going to look quite flat the nearer you get the sharper and the harsher the light is so you can use that to affect in your photographs to create some really, you know, different looks from just one light and just by simply changing the distance. What it will also do is the closer I am to the light, so if I'm here and I expose from my face through the camera and I'll take a shot, the background, let's say the background was white, that would be really dark. In fact, it could almost be, depending on the distance away, that could be black, and you can make it black. So you can make white black. If I go a bit further back, a bit of grey starts coming, so it would be grey. If you're exposing on my face, so each time you move, the exposure is going to be different to get the correct exposure on my face. If I move back further, changes again that's gonna brighten up but now you think it'd be the reverse but it's not if I move back again and I expose for the face because what's happening when I'm when I'm not getting the light from from this source I need to up the power so I, I need a longer exposure or I need to open up the f-stop to get that and what that does then it brings the background into play the closer you are the more the fall off on the light in the background, the more fierce this is in my face, so this is the brightest part, but behind the light is the darkest part. So this is what the square inverse formula is all about. <laughs>